Hello everybody, Craig Warwick here. And look what I got. I got Marvel Legends. And you didn't. Or probably you did before me. Anyway, here is the new series of um, The Return of Marvel Legends. And um, I'm sure you've seen enough videos of these on YouTube already. But, well, you're going to watch one more, aren't you? I got these today and I picked them up from A1 Comics in Glasgow. That's in the United Kingdom, in Scotland, for those who don't know. And uh, they retail at £16.99. Translating that into the American dollar is about $3,000 each. So please stop complaining about the price of figures in the United States. It makes international people want to spew in their own mouth. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, here we have them. Um, I'm not really wanting to do unboxing and whatever. I'll just go through the toys individually. But something that is, well, I think is interesting about the box. Um, let's just take Claw here. Uh, the Marilyn Munster of the <laughs> of the um, the series. Uh, what have we got? Yes. So what I wanted to show was uh, this part here. Look, lots of different languages, European, and interestingly, uh, interestingly enough, the section for English says GB. And that's for Great Britain. So there we are. So this is definitely a European release of the figure. Um, interesting. Whether we are, are actually going to see them released at normal retail in the in the in the UK is um, still unknown. But that's certainly a promising thing. Um, and it's got the European stuff underneath. So yeah, all these figures have uh, the same. Um, translations and the, the GB part of it, which I think is different from the American release. So these are not American imports, these are European releases. So a little bit interesting there. But anyway, let's get these guys open. Who shall we start with? Who shall we start with? Da, 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 da. Okay, so here we have Hope out of most of her packaging. And I was just, um, I wanted to go further, but I've just noticed that they, I've watched some reviews online and they do uh, the people reviewing them do mention they come with the Tales of Terax Hope here doesn't have a Tale of Terax which um, what she does come with is this um, how to build Terax oh so wait his head goes on the neck right thank god for this I would have been totally lost nothing on the back and she comes with this um, standard European Lord Old Mints. Ah, see here we go. Customer service, Consumer Services Hasbro UK Limited. So yeah, this is a European thing. Lots of warnings. Warning! Hope Summers was a poorly conceived idea and even though people think she might be Jean Grey, the idea that Cyclops might shag her, even though she's only like four years old or something, is just sick. And Marvel should probably rethink that. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, no Tale of Terax. I don't know if any of the others will come with it, but that's perhaps a loss. I thought that was a kind of a, ne a neat thing as well. I know some other people did that they came with. A little story that um, people who didn't know about the characters could maybe play out or something. Um, so here we have Hope. She uses the standard uh, female shield agent body. Let me just... Sorry, knocking everything over there. Let me get someone in for a... Um, for a comparison there. That's uh, Hope and the Black Widow. Uh, same body, more or less, is it? I mean, the Black Widow does look taller. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's good. I was going to actually just um, I was, no, no, we mustn't, mustn't, we must resist. Um, I was going to rip the rip to shreds the the height of the figure, given that she's supposed to be a teenager compared to the Black Widow, who, as we all know, was born in nineteen forty-two or something. Um, but here we have Hope. She's looking pretty good. I love her sort of um, pearlescent green one-piece bodysuit, which uh, she must have picked up at some point in the post-apocalyptic future. Um, and then, like, she can get this f f figure-hugging suit, but she just can't get a cape that doesn't look like shit. Um, but it's a great costume all round. Loving it. Her face is nice. Youthful. A bit plain, but that's fine. And uh, she's got gun. Um, I hate heroes with guns. It's just so tedious. Anyway, she's got a large gun that she can hold quite well. And I'm assuming she can do it in both hands. And there we are. So yeah, if you want to get um, more thorough um, views of how all her articulation works, uh, go to other... Um, YouTube videos. I just want to do a brief overview of them all. But uh, she's looking really good. She's a really nice figure, actually. Really liking her. Yeah. All very nice. I mean, even the, you know, the, the sort of um, raggedy material has, the, has an actual paint application on it, which is very rare for Hasbro. So that's great. Very nice. And she comes with the head and axe of Terax. We'll put them together at the end. I better keep those instructions safe in case I lose my way. And here's hey. Steve Rogers out of his packet. Does he come with a tail of Terax? Shall we find out? No, he doesn't. No, nope. just the instructions on how to put it together. And the standard warning about Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, Super Soldier, um, should have stayed as the Head of S.H.I.E.L.D. for much longer, leaving Bucky to take his role as Captain America, because that was very interesting, but editorial mandate decided that he should go back to being Captain America and, at the end of Fear Itself, stand in a big field opposing the might of evil Asgard with a machine gun. Yes, that's right. This is Steve Rogers, the Super Soldier. Now, I've heard, well, I've seen on other reviews that people think his head is too, too big. And, uh, what do we think? Yeah, you know, from some angles, it does look too big. Then from others, it looks fine. Something that I think would have helped this look. I know there's a lot of people who aren't too happy about this sort of older look from. I'm quite happy with um, Steve Rogers being a bit older. Um, I mean, he has been awake for quite a long time and I know people say he's got the super soldier serum, but he bloody doesn't. He flushed it out of his veins ages ago because it's akin to Improving yourself through drug taking, kids, which you shouldn't do. But something I think they could have done was see this face that's on the on the card here. Probably should have drawn it so it looked like the figure. Then uh, people wouldn't be perhaps so up in arms about it. Um, yeah, the hair's different. Just the the expression's kind of similar, but the the jaw and all that it's just not not too similar. But Steve here is a good figure. He's using one of the fav my favourite bodies. He's got um, the shield agent body, the face-off Punisher one. And uh, his arm is a little bent from being in the, in the uh, packaging there. His shield is very nice. It has this nice metallic silver. And if we compare him to what people consider to be one of the best Captain Americas, the face-off Captain America... His shield is a little smaller, but I do like the silver on it. 
Um, it's a nice sort of effect, even though I do believe the shield should be red, white and blue. For obvious reasons. And there we have it. Um, I did want to get the variant of this figure, but they didn't have any of the variants in the store. This was the only variant I was interested in, because I just wanted the photonic shield. Um, but yeah, that's fine, no problem at all. He's a he's a nice figure. Um, he does come with like this saw. He does come with a couple of guns, which I will probably never have him use. Shield went flying there, and it'll come back later and smack me on the back of the head. I had just I know. I've just never seen Steve as a, a gun wielding kind of guy. He's always trying to be a role model and stuff, so um maybe that's just me growing up in the the 80s and 90s when, you know, they even they didn't want to sell any toys with guns whatsoever. Um I just think I know he's a secret agent and he's, you know, he did fight in the war and everything, but they didn't give him a red, white and blue gun they gave him a shield and that's you know what he's about so i just think the whole thing of steve rogers with guns is a bit naff so um there we have him i think he's quite good um doesn't have stars on the shoulders looking good i'm not too fond of this putting the swivel up here on the a shield and body, this is where their, their glove comes up to, but that's not the case with this figure. He doesn't wear the gloves until here. So really, some kind of ankle, not ankle, wrist rotation with um, more of a pivot for his hand would have been useful. But I think that's a bit ugly there. But all in all, he's pretty good. And I, I do quite like the face. I do like him being a bit older. Um, it suits him in this role. He's been through Captain America. And he's come out the other side and got a proper job. Thanks, Steve. And next up we have the Extremis... Extremis? Extremis? I don't really know. Suit for Iron Man. And this was one of the figures that I was really looking forward to, actually, because he's not a lot of reuse. There's a lot of unique parts, as far as I can tell. And um, it's just a really, really nice figure, I think. Um, and I've always... I, I made a custom modern Iron Man for my Marvel Legends display. And I'm really happy to get this more modern look for him. And I do like the suit better than the Bleeding Edge armour that he's wearing at the moment. Um, so there we have. He's looking pretty good. He didn't come with... A Tale of Terax either, so I think we can assume that that is off the cards for the European releases of these figures. Um, yeah, he's really nice, and he's got that's a, you know he doesn't rotate so much at the at all at the he has the the hinge and the pin, but he's got this twist further down, and you know that works with the sculpt there. That's just really nice. This is a really well thought out. Uh, figure these um, discs sort of twist up so that he can put his leg out. They've really thought this through and he's really nice. Um, he's got a nice uh, sort of metallic shine on him. He doesn't look cheap. The gold is nice. Everything about him is just very nice. It'd be nice if he came with nicer if he came with some additional hands, but well, he's got a fist and he's got a repulsor hand, so I think that's they've basically served everyone with those. He's great. This guy does have a variant stealth suit, which I think is bollocks. <laughs> I um I know people will go for it, but um, I just don't like that. Uh, I don't think he ever wore it in the comics and I just, I don't know, the extremist suit came out of his body so the sort of idea that he spray painted it or something is um, a bit strange to me 
But I don't know. I'm sure you could come up with an easy no prize reason with why that um, variant is valid. He's really nice. Look at the detailing on the back. He's quite loose there. That's fine. Shoulder pads are great. They attach, you see, to the ball so he can put his arms up over his head. That's great. What a really, what a really, really nice figure. Fantastic. I think there were concerns about his height. Let's stick him next to Steve Rogers. Um, and Steve is taller. I would imagine Steve to be taller. Um, and especially um, with the extremist suit is more than skin tight. It's practically his skin. So I can see he wouldn't be much taller than Tony Stark would be out of the suit. And yeah, it's looking good. He's a really nice figure. Great stuff. Next, and here we have Claw. As I said at the start, this is the Marlin monster of this series. Um, he is just not up to scratch with the rest of them, really. Um, but anyway, he's still not a bad figure, but I'll look at him in a moment. Something interesting is they have to always call him Marvel's Claw. There must be some other claw with a K that they just can't trademark, so they have to call him Marvel's Claw trademark. Let's get Claw out of here. Something that I've not mentioned up to now is that um, these uh, figures aren't held in by twist ties or anything, which is good. Um, but of course the packaging being tighter will probably mean that their limbs will get warped more. So Claw here is um, very, very simple. There's He uses the Hasbro... Um, one of their bucks that they made, which they used for the Vision, as you can see here, uh, and the Silver Surfer. So it kind of has this sort of smooth, uh, humanoid but not human form, which is, I suppose, suitable for Claw. Claw tends to be really buff in the comics though, um, so this is a kind of weird choice for him in the end. Uh, there's just no paint beyond the plastic itself. Which, yeah, it's fine. He's more pinkish in the comics. He does have a kind of a, a funny colour scheme. Um, I think they reddened it up so that uh, perhaps boys would be happier to buy him. Uh, that's He's got that same hand that we've seen on the Vision. This Vision, by the way, is painted. I, I customised him a little. So you see he's got the same hand there. He's basically exactly the same figure, apart from the head and his, uh, his chocolate fondue fountain that he uses here. And uh, he invites everyone round and they dip it in. Mm, 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 delicious claw. Um, this is his Sonic... I, I can't even remember. Probably just something as simple as Sonic Disruptor. It'll probably tell me on the back of the box. Won't tell me in the Tale of Terax though, that's for sure. I may never know what the Tale of Terax is. So, his face is alright. Again, pretty simple. You'd think with all the paint apps they saved on the body and on this thing that is just cast in one single colour, they could have done something better with the face. Um, I'll do something better with it myself then. If you can't be bothered, Hasbro, then fine. I'll do it. Oh. There we have it. He's got his zigzag pants on. Um, and his... Is that... I mean, his head's sculpted fine. I mean, the detail on his head is actually sculpted in. Where they could easily have just painted it. Um, so, yeah. He's an alright fan. It's just Claw at the end of the day. If this was like a character that a lot of people... Well, probably a lot of people have been waiting on Claw. But, you know, if he had been a more complex character and they had 
done this, frankly, basic approach to him, it would have rubbed people up the wrong way. But, um, as he is, fine. His gun is a little too large, I think. Um, it does just look like his hand is in there. It's like a, a next generation Borg, where they've not, clearly not replaced their hand with anything, they've just put a glove on it. Um, so there he is. He's, he's alright. Not too bad. Moving on. Here we have the Constrictor. Constrictor. He is, as we all know, the bullseye body. Why, why they keep using this this sort of... Um, the crotch part that just doesn't line up with the upper part. You know, it's, it's, he's just got a bodysuit on. There's no... Well, he's wearing different pants. But he's got this belt. Uh, they, I don't know if they, why they didn't use the Quicksilver body, which didn't have this belt in it. Anyway, Bullseye body. We've all seen this before. There's nothing... Apparently new, his hands are new. I love that they have actually sculpted these on. Eh, that's really nice. These don't have any bendy wire in them to hold a pose. But, you know, you can you can certainly bend them and they'll return to their shape, but they'll still they are posable. Um his face, as I think we all know, is really, really nice. It's a really evil face. Constrictor's been more of a goodie in the Shadow Initiative. And there's some sloppy paint around his mask there, but it really isn't a breaker at all. But it's still a really nice face, and it's going to be really useful for customizers. Um, he's just a really nice figure. He's got... Uh, randomly... What the fuck is that? Pardon my language. How disgraceful. Um, he's got a huge orange it's not even just paint it's actually somebody stamped that in what is that <laughs> god that is random anyway was it, i don't know is that on the american one anyone his feet little disappointing to be honest um would have been better to go with the quicksilver or um, yellow jacket feet um quite why they've done this probably to save on money because there's no toe um, and I don't think any of these new Marvel Legends have that toe, toe articulation and the loss of those ankle rockers is a bit a bit hard to take but oh well better than nothing but he's really nice he's a really nice figure just that even when I when I was really young and I saw this guy in, um, in the Secret Wars figure series I just thought he was really cool. That's just a nice colour combination. Um, it's a... What do they call it? Is it contrasting colours? Where the two different primary colours from makeup, the op red and yellow oppose the blue. Uh, I'm boring you now, am I? Moving on. He's just very nice. <laughs> Looks great. Very well done. Um, loving these. Grand. Amazing. Next, Condragulations. It's the drag race version of Ghost Rider. Here's Ghost Rider in his amazing Mardi Gras outfit. Danny Ketch became bored of wearing just normal biking outfits, so he went to drag you and got made up in this, this darling ensemble. And then couldn't get out the plastic. He's free. No one will ever oppress him anymore. He can dress up in women's clothes all he likes. What Danny Ketch is wearing here is a lovely massive shoulder pad combo with flames bursting from within. He's also wearing coattails. Yes, that's right. This S&M gear can also get you into the most exclusive restaurants. Anyway... This is a very nice figure. There's a lot of work gone into this. Um, looking underneath there, I can recognise the Hand Ninja and um, Ronin um, neck piece. So this must be based on the Ronin body. And Ronin is a character I loathe. But lots of new pieces here. These, these shin guards and the knee pads. Very nice. The skirt with the chains on it. These are rubbery and move. That's nice. And they could 
very easily have just painted this whole thing black and stuck the blue flames on it. But they've actually given it a paint job and sprayed um, the blue, even on the silver. So, you know, away from the flames, there's none of the blue spray. But going towards it, it lights up. It's a very nice effect. And, you know, it's a different Ghost Rider. This guy has a variant with the orange flames, but I think it looks kind of daft, to be honest. Um, I think this blue flame Ghost Rider of Danny Ketch is just a much more worthwhile version to have than just normal Ghost Rider um, kind of dressing up. And I think for kids, if they... I doubt they would have the original Ghost Rider figure, but if they're going to make new ones for the movie, um, I think it would be cool to have this blue flame Ghost Rider. You can use him as a body or his... I was going to say his brother, which of course he is. Um, the skull is very nice. You know, comparing it with this one, I prefer this one. Um, yeah, just it's just much, much nicer. The flames work really well. They are just literally glued on top of the head, but because of the paint, it really sort of blends well in the hand. Um, he's got good articulation. Something he doesn't come with, of course, is a bike. Um, but he can commandeer a bike from your other Ghost Rider, and particularly from this guy, he can commandeer Danny Ketch's bike. And, uh, yeah. Have his tails blowing in the wind like Fred Astaire zooming towards Ginger Rogers. And this is the only Ginger Rogers that I've got. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll just move on. Tails in the air. And the... F well, second to last, our final figure before the Build-A-Figure is Thor. Not Marvel's Thor, or the Mighty Thor, because they own the trademark. So Thor, TM. And this guy is pretty awesome looking. Very awesome indeed. Now, let's get him out. Oh wait, is he? No, he's not. I thought he was actually held in by a twist. Oh my god. Oh. Whosoever gets this figure out of the fucking packet shall possess the power of Thor. Jesus. Right. So here we have the new Marvel Legends Thor, and he is looking really, really good. There's a the paint on his leg, on his uh, armored parts is just really nice looking. I'll bring in the Marvel Select Thor, which is another great figure. I really love this. Um, but this guy is on the same level, just coming straight. I love this, you know, he's got all the wrinkles on this version, but this more comic-like, you know, his... There's not going to be any wrinkles on the front of Thor's shirt, because he's been working out. He's been lifting frost giants. Um, he's looking really good, but yes, like I was saying, you can see that... The difference in the colour here. This silver, and that doesn't even have the black wash in there, Marvel Select. This guy does. And he has this, you know, sort of bluish tinge to it, which just works really well for the figure. Um, the articulation works really well on the chest. It's a lovely matte plast um, paint on there. See, he's falling down. He's, he's, he's a loser. He just can't handle it anymore. You're a loser! Um, yeah. And he's looking really good. Now I watched uh, a, a video online where the, um, I think it was Solid Snake talked about the... He had this effect on his leg, like the lightning effect. This guy doesn't have it. It's really good. His cape, amazing looking. 
really nice. And here's Mjolnir. That looks good. This isn't Mjolnir from the... I think this is from the Lord of Asgard, Thor. Um, and I painted that up because I thought the one that came with the select version was shit. Um, this Thor has a... it looks like he has a much... well, not a much longer cape, a little bit longer cape. He just can't stop falling down. And the hammer fits nicely in his hand. And also, I believe, can go on... does it? I better break it. I've seen that it can be... this unplugs. It's just a close-up of the bottom of Thor's foot there. I can't do it on camera just now, sorry. I believe that that unplugs and then you can slip the handle on there and they can carry it alongside. So this is just, you can see why they led with this figure as a convention exclusive. Um, he's just really, really nice. The face is um, really good. Um, something that, I mean, I do kind of like this face. I think it's, I like the, the broad nose, but this, this figure um, still has the the broad nose up the top certainly, but it does narrow quite substantially towards the bottom. He's just really, really nice looking. What an impressive figure. Okay, let's get this builder figure together though. That's what we want. Here's all the bits of Terax um, all over the place. Let's try and build him up um, by your powers combined. I am Captain... Um, Cosmic Bastard. Is that... Have we got the legs right? Let's find out. Well, it says, just in case... Oh god, where are those instructions? I may need them. That's interesting. Look, the... See, the, the left and right leg have vastly different sockets, so you just cannot get it wrong. But, watch me. I will. Now, Terax is, um, crotch, cosmic nothing, Galactus had really something against penises, he just wiped them all out, um, there's a stamp, what can it mean? Dun dun dun, it's like the, the Da Vinci code, but, um, I'll just not finish that sentence, can't be bothered. Oh my god, I can't get the leg in. Dad, can you come and put the leg in for me? Holy shit. Is that in? No. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I might do the skirt bit later. Holy shit. Don't make me dip you in hot water, Terax. Uh, right. One leg on. Looking good, feeling great. Looking good, feeling great. And the other one. Oof, look at those thighs. chun -Li, you better watch out. Right, it's one of these build -a figures where you're like, oh, I don't really want to pose them in case his legs fly off again. I don't think they're going to, given the amount of effort that I had to put in there. Right, crotch complete. He's got his skirt on. What's next? What happens next with the Terax? Oh, we put his body on. Yes, let's put his body on. Right, so the body goes in there, and then it looks like that little tab thing goes down in there and hooks onto just the underside of his nutsack. I'm making that part up, by the way. I'm using his cosmic axe to attach his cosmic bra to his cosmic pants. I wonder if I should have put that... See? I should probably read the instructions. 
complete moron. Right. Anyway. Get in there. There we are. That's good. Look at that. Does that hinder his articulation a bit? It fucking does. Oh no, I just left. Oh. <laughs> How embarrassing, Terrence. Let me tilt this camera up a little. Look at this. So that attaches to his underwear basically. So when he looks up, his his skirt sort of rides up on him. Oof! How dare you fly over my head, Silver Surfer? Surfer? Surfer even. You're giving me a cosmic witchy. There we have him. Right, arms in. I can't really see very well. I do apologise for this. It's terribly embarrassing. Well, that's no bloody better. There we are. Right, okay. Let's put his arms in. Is that the right arm? Yes, it is. There we have one. There we have two. And finally, his heat. Also will not go on. <sighs> ah, good job I invoked the power cosmic there. Let's get that fucking socket on that ball. There we have him, Terax. Power extreme, extreme, extreme. I can't get this to go in. Which way does it go in? It goes in that way. There we have it. There we go. And he's got this axe holding hand. Or is it supposed to go through his hand first before I... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Hasbro, honestly, making a fool of me. Live on YouTube. There we are. Oh, I'm fine. So there we have Terax the... Is he the Terrible? Terax the Tamer? I think he's Terax the Tamer and he was Tyros the Terrible when he wasn't cosmically empowered. But, again, what a nice figure. Very nice. The red is very, very plasticky looking. Across, he looks like he's just got latex gloves on. So that would have been nice to have some scuffs or something on that. Um, you know, they did it for Ghost Riders sort of armour. So a bit of a texture would have been nice. And then across all of Terax, that would have been nice. I know he has sort of rock powers and while I I don't think he's made of rock himself it would have been an interesting sort of texture to add um, but he's looking good it's very you know good articulation in the feet that's actually really nice and the gold again it's not as nice as well I suppose it is the same as the gold on the extremist Iron Man but here it, it just looks a bit cheaper um, but yeah, he's looking good in his axe. Actually, he's drawing from a lot of what the other figures are about. His axe is like that unpainted silver that's, um, that Claw's sonic uh, vibrator is made up of. So yeah. But he's looking really nice. Really like him. And a great addition. Um, he is basically a huge nobody, but... Uh, Silver Surfer doesn't ha who's had you know a few um, Marvel Legends now. He doesn't have a lot of cosmic enemies. He's I suppose an Isles, and even then that's not really his enemy. Um, so then we have him compared to Thor. He's around the same height. Uh, I had to actually double check there that I had the the Marvel Legends Thor and not the Select Thor. So that just shows you that the how cool that figure is. So there we have him. That's Terax. And let's see if we can bring in all of his little legendary buddies. Thor. TM. Marvel's Claw. Anyone for fondue? Drag Rider! Ooh. Swish! Nick 
making a an amazing entrance. Oh, Claw, Marvel's Claw, TM. I, how dare you fall down? They could have just called him Ulysses Claw or something. Just be... <sighs> anyway. Uh, what else have we got? The Constrictor. Who actually looks a bit smaller now he's next to all these guys. Hope Summers. And in the in the background you can hear the X-23 Marvel Legend figure say How come everyone complained about me getting a Marvel Legend and no one's complaining about this fucking Hope Summers bitch? Well, the thing is, X-23, is that your figure was gross. That was the real issue there. Steve Rogers. Mind that head, Steve. You better stand at the back. And finally, probably my favourite one. Well, wow, it's Thor. Oh, they're all really good, actually. Tony Stark, the Invincible Iron Man. Okay. There we have them. That's all of them. Very, very happy to have them. Welcome back, Marvel Legends. Welcome back. We had to put up with the unwanted guest that was Marvel Universe for too long. Long may they continue, of course, but it's good to have these guys back and looking great. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care.